The Centre for Mathematics of Human Behaviour is a research group here at the University of Reading in the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. So uh, we're a group of researchers who are funded with a mixture of public funds and also industrial and commercial funds to look at complex systems which involve groups of people. And unlike other complex systems, at the bottom of our systems, we have people and they're the individual units and uh, they're awkward, they're inconsistent, unreliable and yet we've got to be able to model, plan and anticipate how these systems are going to behave. Graph theory is a, is a very well-worn area of mathematics where there's lots of wonderful work being done but it's really based on the idea that the connections are given to you. But if you think about what's happening now, we email each other, we, we tweet or we, we interact socially and those connections come and go over time. As soon as we saw these problems, we saw a whole array of issues that we would have to face. Inverse problems, constructing networks from the data. Uh, inference problems, what kind of networks are they? Forecasting problems, what's going to happen next? Classification problems, uh, who's an influencer and who's a listener in a network? And all of this done against a background where we needed to write, if you like, an algebra to describe evolving networks and all of the numerical methods necessary to unpick them. So an overview of Bloom would be we're a digital agency. Principally what we do is digital marketing solutions for lead generation e-commerce businesses. Bloom's approach is based around data and um, insight that we draw from that and ideas. Social media is a, is a brand new medium and at the moment it's not very well understood how to measure what's going on in that medium. The key difference with what we're doing is, is we're looking at it from the perspective of the properties of the network using you know, mathematical techniques for understanding what's going on within those networks. What's the most amount of data you can get hold of sensibly and do things with is always going to be one of the main challenges. Um, that seems to be something that Bloom are very, very capable of dealing with. The biggest benefit from working with Bloom was that they picked the stuff up and ran with it quite quickly. And so within the first six months we could see that they were working hard to make it successful and uh, we could see what worked and what didn't work. The work that you do, quite often it could just end up in a journal, scribbled away somewhere that no one will ever read. But actually to know that it's out there, um, being used by people and, and, and whether they know it or not, underlying um, the algorithms behind their work, that's really great to know. We've got big, big ideas, but if we only get halfway along the road to those massive ideas, we have still achieved something quite phenomenal and quite um, extraordinary almost. And so the future is incredibly bright and we wouldn't be where we are today without the support that we've had from the University of Reading. The challenges of uh, digital communication, digital advertising uh, are going to get greater and greater. And what we want to do is to understand those bits of it we need to understand which will drive us into thinking about new types of model and new types of mathematics. I guess it's a pat on the back for mathematics. You know, we, we not only have the laws of physics and chemistry and fluids and weather forecasting, but it seems as our mathematics can also add some value in the, in the slightly more woolly field of human social interaction and decision making. And so it's, it's a delight to see some of these ideas being pushed forward and, and used in, in a real hard commercial context. To have something you can own and be completely unique and at the absolute bleeding edge of your marketplace in, in such an exciting area of social media, is, you know, words can't really describe how exciting that is.